independence, this building was occupied by the first Nairobi Provincial Commissioner as his office until the year 1984 when they moved to the Nyayo House. Because of the historical importance of this building, it, it was gazetted as a national monument in the year 1993 and in the year 1995 it was uh, declared a national monument and handed over to the National Museums of Kenya for preservation purposes in the year 1997. In the year 2005, the first art exhibition by a renowned Ugandan artist, Jack Atarikawe, was held in this building. Then afterwards, several other exhibitions were held here, and in the year 2013, uh, a collection by Joseph Murumbi was brought here, and uh, that is what we are exhibiting today. We dedicated one room for both pioneer and local artists to exhibit their artwork. We've also dedicated another room for children activities. When uh, one visits the gallery, they love a privilege to learn about uh, Kenyan history, uh, why this building is important, and they love an opportunity to see Kenya's point zero. That is the point where all the distances across the country were measured from. And this point zero is located inside the Nairobi Gallery. They also see a very beautiful collection by Joseph Murumbi, which is a, a collection of artifacts, jewelries, books, some of which are out of print, textiles, furnitures. Today, this exhibition by Joseph Murumbi uh, is a very unique exhibition because it, it, it is all about collection from all over Africa. And some of these pieces he collected today, you cannot find them anywhere. And uh, I encourage Kenyans to come and see this exhibition because it is this history which unites us as Kenyans.